Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and today we're going to talk about how to date vintage Hanes t-shirt tags. Let's get into it. So in 1900, John Wesley Haynes founded the Shamrock Knitting Mills, and in 1901, his brother uh, started the P.F. Haynes Knitting Mills as well. And these two companies existed uh, separate from each other until 1965. Then in 1979, the company was purchased by what would later become Sarah Lee. So having been around over 100 years, there are a lot of different tags in the Haynes portfolio that we're going to look at. Uh, it's important to remember here though that uh, care tags are not the only way you can date vintage clothing. Uh, there are a few other methods that are helpful, but today we're mostly gonna be focusing simply on the tag. It's also important to remember something about tags themselves. Up until the early 70s, uh, you were not required by law to put a care tag on your garment. So a lot of these tags are simply the brand, the material, and where it was produced. And after the early 70s, it was required by law that brands put care tags or wash instructions on the garment itself. So you will start to see that more commonly in t-shirts that are younger than 1972, 73. Now one final note before we get into actually looking at some of these tags. Remember that these companies like Hanes and Fruit of the Loom, they were producing blanks. Most of the time they were producing blanks. A lot of times they were producing undergarments, uh, underwear, bras, etc. But when we're talking about vintage t-shirts, these t-shirts were originally blank from the factory. All the stuff that's printed on them generally is not from Hanes themselves. So these t-shirts could have been stocked up at a particular screen printing shop and use years after the original t-shirt design was released. So it's important to know that some of these tags, though we'll be giving them specific years, they may show up, you know, five, six years later, depending on the inventory that was available at the screen printing shop. So let's go ahead and look at some of the very early tags that we can identify. Here we have some tags from the 1940s. Uh, the 1950s, you can see, generally speaking, Hanes is still very prominent. If you see any of these tags from the 40s and the 50s, you'll definitely want to pick them up, whether or not they are, uh, you know, printed on or if they're just blank, because these are pretty old items. Now, they may not have tons of value, but they are a pretty cool find if you do find them. Furthermore, you can see the Hanes tags from the 1960s. Here are a few that are good examples. You can see that the Hanes in the, the sort of the ticket or the flag is perhaps the most common uh, logo here. You can see this logo was used heavily early on, less so later on into the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So definitely if you see a Hanes tag with a variation of this uh, flag or this sort of uh, ticket looking thing that's probably a bit older than uh, the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Now the 70s is where it starts to get really interesting and that's why we're going to slow down a little bit and look at more specific tags. In the 70s, people started printing things on t-shirts much more commonly as the t-shirt became uh, to be more accepted as a fashion staple in and of itself. Bands put their tour dates on there, comic book characters were printed on, all sorts of things. So let's take a look at some of the Hanes tags from the 70s. And they are distinct here because they actually changed uh, their color scheme rather dramatically from the previous decades of Hanes tags. Here we see a sort of standard Hanes t-shirt, all cotton, with the orange and black. And sort of triangle which is sort of uh, indicative of a 70s and early 80s Hanes t-shirt. We also see the introduction of the Hanes beefy tee, uh, typically was a little bit heavier cotton um, uh, material and definitely had that beefy feel so to speak. Now working our way into the 80s you can see that the Hanes logos change, they get rid of that sort of triangle that was a part of the 70s and early 80s tags, but they do keep the black and orange color scheme uh, from the 80s and into the mid to very, you know, probably 86, 87. And you can start seeing that uh, here on the beefy, the Hanes beefy tee, they actually changed the tee 
to a t-shirt so a uh, very cool little thing they do and they maintain that uh, pretty much throughout the entire life cycle of the Hanes Beefy Tea line. They also introduced the poly cotton, which was a blend of cotton and polyester, and then the 50-50, which was a sort of a 50-50 blend. Uh, very soft, typically a little bit more stretchy than the cotton uh, versions of yesteryear. Uh, but these are the sort of four or five main uh, tags that you could find uh, from that early to mid 80s in the Hanes category. So in the late 80s, Hanes again changed their uh, branding for their tags, probably due to the fact that they were selling so many t-shirts. It was becoming such a huge market uh, that they wanted to diversify uh, and get a few more products out there. Here we can see a late 80s example of uh, one of the Hanes tags. The Gone is the orange and black, and they have a red, white, and blue. But notice specifically, there is a new logo, and the font for Hanes has changed. This new rounded logo really only lived in the late 80s into the very early 90s, and was then later replaced, and we'll see the replacement in a minute. So around 1992, 93 or so, Hanes would change again their uh, branding on those tags, replacing that rounded H that they were using previously in the 80s uh, to a H with sort of a orbit around it. They would maintain the red, white, and blue colors, uh, but they would get rid of that old logo. Now this new logo would last through the 90s. You can see here are a couple other examples, specifically of the uh, 93 to two, early 2000s look uh, from these tags. They do have the H with the uh, sort of wraparound orbit on it and they maintain the red, white, and blue colors. So now that we have a broad view of the different eras and decades of Hanes tags, how are we supposed to be any more specific than the, you know, five to ten year periods that some of these tags uh, held? Well, there are a few ways and let's look at a few of those now. One of them is the copyright date on the art that's printed on the t-shirt. If your t-shirt has art printed on it, it's common to have a copyright date. Let's take a look at this t-shirt right here. You can see that this uh, t-shirt has a particular art and we can see down here, it's actually copywritten 1993. Now, what's interesting about here, this is, and this is an important distinction, is this t-shirt actually has two tags. And the reason that's important is Hanes added two tags to their t-shirt designs in about the mid 90s. So I can tell you that this 1993 copyright is not the date that it was printed on. Uh, the date that this t-shirt was probably printed on is probably after 1994-95. Now, I can also do one other thing, and that's look at the stitching. Is it single stitch or is it double stitch? If it's single stitch, there's one stitch that uh, makes up the t-shirt hem here and typically as well on the bottom. In this case, we have a single stitch hem on the sleeve. Now, single stitch t-shirts, generally speaking, uh, the production uh, changed in about 1996, although you can find single stitches several years after for the same reason that you can find different tags for years after because uh, stock has to be used uh, and uh, eliminated after a while. So here we have a single stitch t-shirt. We have a copyright of 1993 and we have a two tag system. This all tells me that this was probably produced prior to uh, 1996, but after 1993 and somewhere around 1995 because it has a double stitch, a double, excuse me, a double uh, tag t-shirt. So I could say this t-shirt is most likely in all cases from 1995 or so. Now to summarize quickly, look for a copyright date. That sort of will be the uh, outer limit of the production of that t-shirt. Then look for a single Hanes tag or a double Hanes tag. If that Hanes tag is doubled, it means it is uh, after 1994-95. And if it has a single stitch rather than a double stitch, it's likely um, from before 1996. Now, as I said before, there are exceptions. 
because of the way that these blanks are used and printed on, you might find something that fits all of those descriptions but may be have a copyright of 1997 when uh, double stitch t-shirts were far more common and begin to uh, take over the market. Now I hope this video was helpful to you if you are looking to learn more about different brands, tags, and learn how to identify vintage clothing, check the eye above. We have a playlist uh, with a bunch of videos from a bunch of different brands uh, all over the vintage world. So check that out in the eye above. Otherwise, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.